Hey everyone, Jason Shepard here of M0A.com and welcome into day 17 of our 31 day to safer pilot challenge. Today's topic is probably one of the hardest videos we'll have out of all the 31 videos we're going to do and that is class E airspace, class echo airspace. Literally, I have spent you know, done hour long, two hour long webinars with my online ground school members just talking about Class E airspace. There's so much we can cover in Class E airspace. What I want you to understand is the real tough part. Does Class E start at 700 or does it start at 1200 feet? And that's what we're going to talk about in this video. Again, a very small part in the big scheme of things when we're talking about Class Echo airspace, but one of the more difficult parts for students to understand. So let's go ahead and cut to that clip. All right, so here we are at our aviation sectional chart. And again, I am just going over um, transition and domestic in route Class Echo airspace. There is a lot of other uh, Class Echo airspace, but for this lesson, that's what we're going to cover. Um, this right here, this faded magenta circle, do not confuse this with, with Class Charlie airspace, this faded magenta circle is what's known as a Class Echo transition area. Inside of this faded magenta circle, inside here, by the way, this is the Donellan Airport, X-ray 35 right here where I'm based, um, inside of this magenta circle, Class Echo airspace starts at 700 feet. That means from the surface to 699 feet is Class Golf airspace. Above that is Class E airspace. Outside of this, everywhere else out here is known as domestic in route. All this up in here, just followed my cursor, cursor around. Domestic in route where Class Echo starts at 1,200 feet, okay? So, domestic and roots, my 1,200 feet. My transition area is my 700 feet. Why is that? Well, think about the VFR and cloud clearance requirements, okay? What am I talking about inside of Echo? Well, it's my three miles visibility and 152, 1,000 above, 500 below, and 2,000 feet horizontally from the clouds. What is it in my golf airspace? Basically, don't stick your head into a cloud and everything will be okay pretty much. Okay, we are making the weather requirements more strict around these airports here. That's why we have these transition areas around them. We are taking those more strict weather minimums and dropping them down a little bit lower over these airports. So that's what I want you to be your takeaway today. A transition area, transition class echo, 700 feet. Domestic en route, which is everything else out here, is my 1,200 feet. Okay, so you guys have got that. Any questions? Again, I know there's a lot of moving parts to Class Echo airspace, um, but any questions, don't hesitate to uh, ask uh, down below in the comments. That's all I got for you guys today. So guys, most importantly, remember that a good pilot is always learning. Have a great day, guys. See ya.